The Indian education system is plagued by a myriad issues these days. They include, among many other problems, rote learning, low student engagement and motivation, suboptimal learning outcomes, and a paucity of teachers and resources. These issues eat away at the very fabric of our society. Almost four generations since our independence, India still revels in a medieval educational system largely devoid of any reform or innovations and still churning out tens of millions of graduates every year, most of whom have not developed any skills to take on the jobs and challenges of the 21st century. To address the situation requires a systemic change at all levels. ThinkTact aims to achieve at least a part of that by making hands-on experiential science learning accessible to all. ThinkTech has curated more than 500 hands-on science and maths activities which cover the majority of topics addressed in school science and mathematics curricula. These hands-on activities, like this wonderful pen stand demonstrated here, are carefully designed using household materials, reusable trash materials, and affordable and accessible specialized materials, but all in their raw form. Making activities or tactivities, derived from the words tactile activities, as we call them, using these materials enables children to make, remake and tinker with materials without the fear of damaging them. The great Russian psychologist Lev Vygotsky, in his seminal work of the 1970s, talks about three zones a child might find herself or himself in while learning. The comfort zone, where she or he can work unassisted. The challenge zone, what he calls the zone of proximal development, where learning happens through scaffolding. And the frustration zone, which is out of reach or too difficult for the learner. According to Vygotsky, true learning can only happen in the challenge zone, something we strive to keep in mind while designing and delivering activities to children.